Hello and welcome. Let's learn Excel Visual Basic for Applications VBA using a project based approach. I intend taking you through multiple projects, and each project will span a series of videos. Project based approach gives us the chance to utilize our VBA knowledge in real world applications. We will work on projects from different industries and you don't need knowledge in any of the industries to follow any of the projects we will be looking at. With each project, I will introduce you to a working user form and then, together, we will write the VBA code from scratch. By the end of a project, you will be very fluent in writing useful and maintainable VBA code. We will come across some useful tricks and best practices when building forms in Excel. User form is the most advanced way of building forms in Excel. However, you don't need to be a pro to do this. We will build the project from the ground up, component by component, piece by piece. My passion is to make you enjoy creating forms in Excel. Now get ready and let's start. For this project, consider a company Fee Excel, which is into exportation of products. Fee Excel solicits contractors in its production and ensures contractors meet certain requirements. In view of this, the company wants to track the risk issues the contractors face in order to be certain of the products it exports. You have been approached by this company to develop a risk tracking Excel application. The request emphasizes four areas the application must address. First, the application must be easy to use. It must improve the quality of data the company collects. Also, there should be ability to query or filter historical records. And finally, Users must have access to basic count statistics. Our aim is to build a user form that addresses these four areas. After some deliberations with the company, the final application looks like this. I will walk you through how the application addresses the four areas of concern. You will get to know some of the principles employed in designing the form. Please feel free to check the next video if you want a demonstration of how the form works. There are two related forms we will build. A main form for risk management tracking and its companion form for risk severity change tracking. Take a good look at the main form. We intend achieving the easy to use request of the company by having logically grouped controls wrapped in frames. This makes it easy on the mind to quickly familiarize itself with the form. The controls have intuitive captions with hot keys. For instance, you can activate the reset button by using the key combination Alt plus R. The ability to reset gives users chance to explore the form knowing that wrong entries can always be undone. In addition, there is a well-organized tab order. The provision of hotkeys and the structured tab order make movement from one field to another effortless while keeping your hands on the keyboard. Most of the controls are drop-downs or combo boxes. A drop-down list is easier to use compared with a free test field. With regards to achieving consistent data, most fields like product type, contractor name, and risk severity are restricted to a selection from a drop-down list. There are few free test fields like staff name and risk description, and hence less chance of making data entry errors. Most of the fields are required and they are marked by asterisks ensuring that essential information is always entered. In the next video, we will see how data is validated before added to the database. 
we will also see how some of the test fields like risk classification are auto-populated. The auto-population feature does not only reduce the amount of typing, but most importantly, it ensures the right risk information is used. There is a provision for filtering historical records in the View section of the form. The user has the flexibility to do this by restricting the records to a date range or by selecting certain elements of the data or by doing both. We will see in the demonstration video how dynamic these filters are. Finally, we have a group of labeled controls that display the count statistics. In the next video, we will get to see how the counts change when a new record is added and also when different filters are applied. There are two more functionalities the company FeeXL needs. Realize that there is a button for exporting the historical records. This had to be included because the company wants to be able to export the data for advanced analysis. Given that users of the form will have limited access to the back-end database, and the fact that the form provides just basic count statistics, the data export functionality is essential. Also, the company wanted the application to have a means to escalate or de-escalate the severity of a risk. To view the history of a risk's severity and make changes to that history, we provided an additional form for just this purpose. Check out the next video to see how this companion form works. I hope I have gotten you a bit excited about this project. Building advanced user form is fun and rewarding. Feel free to use the concept we will be discussing in your own project. Please check the next video to see the application in action.